Hi guys, I know it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera, but as we all know, the beginning of April just passed, and with April 1st, we know there's a lot of fake news. Can you give us a question? Don't be You're rude. Attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake news. Sir. So I had to wait for all of that stuff to kind of go by, and there was real news out there for me to talk about. And the thing that just recently dropped was the Joker 2 trailer. So I'm here to give you my reaction and my thoughts about everything that I saw in the trailer. And one of the first things I saw in this trailer is that Joker is still in Arkham. I know at the end of the first one, it kind of left us and kind of what do you think happened where he's walking down the, how, down the hallways after talking to his psychiatrist, uh, leaving blood footprints behind him. Now, you can infer that maybe he got out, but I guess in the beginning of this trailer that maybe he was not really doing that or maybe they caught him shortly afterwards and then put him back into his cell. But with that being said, uh, is this another movie where we're going to be like the inaccurate narrator, where this is just going to be more of a delusion that's going on in Joker's head as he tells this story? But either way, we're still in Arkham and we're seeing him kind of go through his day to day things, showing him in maximum security, showing him walking with the guards, so on and so forth, all the other things we've ever seen in the Suicide Squad movie. But along the way, we do actually see him interact or at least come across with uh, at the very beginning with Harley Quinn. Uh, or Harleen Quinzel, if you want to be specific about it, who seems to be an inmate at this particular point in time, or a, a I want to say an inmate, well, I guess it's a psychiatric prison, uh, an inmate at this particular point in time, which kind of skews from the normal comic book lore with, with Harley Quinn, is that she was his psychiatrist at first, and then he kind of pushed her to crazy, she had a little bit in her already, but pushed her to crazy, and then that's when she fell in love with him, or when she fell in love with him, he pushed her to crazy, however you want to read that particular thing. But in this particular source, she does not seem to be a psychiatrist. She seems to be somebody who is there for some other psychiatric issue, uh, which is a big change, and I guess in the sense of this particular movie, we're probably, probably set in more of a real-world situation, I can see why they would make that change. But back to my original thought, if he is a, if, if his narration of this particular film isn't to be trusted, uh, maybe this is just him having a delusion just like he had with Zazie Beats in the original one, where he kind of made up this love, uh, this love story between them. Is that the same thing that we're getting with Harley Quinn at the beginning of this particular trailer? Uh, is this something, or even as we go through the trailer, we kind of see a lot of dream sequency stuff. Uh, where they're dancing, uh, where they're going to the chapel, uh, and so on and so forth. Is this just delusions that he's made up in his head and that maybe we'll get to see the off, the real version of it towards the end of the movie like we saw in the original one? Now, with that being said, one of the big things that had been made about this particular movie going forward was that it was going to be a musical. I'm not sure if it's going to be a musical, but I know the director had came out and said that it's going to be more of a jukebox musical where it seems he's going to go a lot of uh, <clears throat> James Gunn route where I'm just going to add in a bunch of iconic songs all the way through the movie to help sell the story. Though in this trailer, there is not a lot of talking, so it does seem like there will be singing. I mean, they wouldn't have got Lady Gaga if they didn't choose to have her sing something. Um, so I'm expecting that. And I'm hoping, because I'm not a big fan of musicals, and I said that before when we first talked about this movie, is that I did not want to see a musical. But if they go the James Gunn route, where there's just a bunch of iconic songs being played, and I think they said about 15 iconic songs uh, that are going to be played in the background to set moods, I'm okay with that. I want something to really set up the story, and I don't want to have to follow along a song to get the story. I watch Disney movies for that. I don't need to watch my, my joke. Now, with that being said, it made me think about a couple of different things. One... Where's Batman in this whole thing? It, are we going to see Bruce Wayne uh, coming up in this? Because we he actually did make contact with Bruce Wayne in the first one. Are we going to see a further continuation with his contact with Bruce Wayne? Or was that just a one and done type deal? Two. Two. Are we going to see any other Arkham villains? Are we going to see Croc Master or, I mean... I mean, there's tons of people that are in Arkham, the Riddler. I mean, because we just got to see that in the Batman. Is there going to be some type of like, hey, I'm mentioning you and I'm and I'm mentioning that. I know there was a thing where people pointed out on the Internet that there was a, a sighting of, of a Prince or at least a particular person that was standing there that was kind of dressed like Prince as kind of like a 
uh, a call back to the original Tim Burton movies. Uh, but I would like to see them call back to the DC universe in some aspect, even if this is going to be a standalone. Uh, last thing I saw in this particular trailer is that it seems that there is going to be some type of trial. Now, he murdered somebody live on television. I'm not sure what this trial is about. It does seem very dream sequency because uh, we, we do see him arrive at the jail kind of like in an armor thing and there's a bunch of uh, Joker fan people behind him. There's people with signs and so on and so forth. But we see a, uh, him dancing on the steps of the courthouse kind of like he did in the first one uh, with Harley Quinn. So I'm not sure if this is a real trial or maybe he's dream portion of it and then the real thing is going to take place. I kind of see like maybe they're going to go back and forth like this is what he's seeing and then this is what's really happening in particular in, in real life context of this movie. Alright, so those are some of the things that I saw in this particular trailer. Tell me what you guys saw in the trailer. It's a teaser, so they didn't really give us a lot. They just kind of gave us enough to kind of kind of whet our appetites with it so that we are more hyped to go ahead and see this movie. I mean, we're a little ways off from this particular movie, so I'm sure more trailers are going to come out. I'm not sure if we're going to watch any more because I really hate spoiling the movie for myself, but I'm very interested to know more about what's going on, and maybe I'll just read some articles. <laughs> so once again, tell me what you guys think about it in the comments below, and if it's the first time that you're on the channel, make sure you subscribe as well as click the notification button so that way you're aware of all the other things that we do on the channel. So with that being said, you guys take care. Wait, guys, are you still here? I'm glad you're still here. All right, so if you look down, I mean, it's somewhere over here. Look down. We actually have a Patreon. So if you guys watch the show and you really like what we want to do and you want to help support the show and you want to help me get an editor so I can get to sleep at night because I'm really tired and you guys see all my mistakes in the episodes. So please go to patreon.com forward slash the goods. Give us a penny. Give us a nickel. Give us a dollar. Tell Just us, don't give us the finger. Don't do that. But make sure you do donate something because we do have some giveaways. There's posters. There's t-shirts. I'll uh, sign something for you. Exactly. So uh, take a look, guys, and uh, help us out. We appreciate it.